carved out a role in the secondary last year. Can you talk about the process of, of getting getting to that point and to kind of solidify your place on the roster? Um, really, it's about kind of like staying, staying motivated, if that makes sense, because college football, everybody knows like you're going to make good plays, you're going to make bad plays. Um, it's going to be people talking like really well about you. It's going to be people saying like you're the worst at whatever you like, whatever you're doing. Um, but really like just your teammates being there for you um, and just staying motivated, just knowing like what you want to do. Um, you want to be the best player like me personally, like I just want to be the best player that I can be. And I wake up every day, go to practice like that every day, like whatever happens, happens. If it, I don't know, like if I make a good play, good, you know, on to the next one. If I make a bad play, all right, we'll learn from it in the film room, but on with practice, just like just con constantly getting better. When you came here as a freshman, did you envision being able to carve out a regular role like this? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think anybody, especially coming from high school where you are the man at your school. Um, it's a bit humbling at first because they're grown men on the same team that like, I, I call it like the freshman humbling experience because every first rep of camp, first couple of days of camp, every freshman gets humble. Um, but everybody, everybody at this level is a competitor. So you always see yourself as, you know, being the best. Was there any specific moment, either practice or in a game early in your career that you felt like humbled you? Couple. Um, we'll keep it short. Um, Kenny Goins. I don't know if you guys remember him. Yeah, I was I was trying to f fit him up in the A gap. It didn't go well. Um, <laughs> Kenny's game. He kind of just runs into you. You know, he's he's a short guy, really strong, low center of gravity, and yeah, he just knocked me right on my butt. <laughs> that's that's that story. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Um, I'm, I really, when I watch the film, I kind of just see the, not the same team from last year. Like, obviously they're, they're, like you said, they're making strides, but I know watching the game last year, we came away with the win. Um, and watching our defense play their offense from the film last year, we're so much better. So I can only imagine what's about to happen this, this time. Like we're, I, I think we're about to play a great game. <laughs>